When Kenneth Branagh's family left Northern Ireland for England in 1970, he lost his accent, but not what he's described as an Irish love of language. Within 20 years, he'd be celebrated as a new champion for Shakespeare and earn comparisons with Lord Olivier. Kenneth Branagh is a hugely versatile and ambitious actor, director and producer with a uniquely successful body of work across stage, television and film. This is his life in pictures. You arrived from Belfast mm. here in England in 1970 and then yeah. school, uh, the accent goes? Yes, yeah, I started, I came here with a very, very strong Northern Irish accent which I now love. With Henry V, the first picture I directed, we didn't have a video assist, so you didn't, you simply didn't have playback. Um, I mean, I guess there was, but our film uh, didn't, our budget didn't support that. So uh, I would sit beside the camera, having, you know, ridden the camera, check the shot out, and I love, I love the feel of the camera. Terrible with those wheels, but, uh, but I love the feel of it, and you, it's the only way to sort of get a sense of the, the real image. If you go to work on a film and you might get a, um, a sort of contact sheet, just a, a way of understanding where everybody is, and maybe it's 150 names. Maybe that would be quite a lot of names. And I remember getting the, uh, the sort of contact list on, on Harry Potter when I arrived. So this is in case you need to get in touch with anyone. There were 1,500 names on it. My Week with Marilyn, a film being directed by um, and the star was also Sir Lawrence Olivier. You know, one just tried to um, find uh, you know, sort of bit of that voice, a bit of that sort of kind, yeah, the sort of curious kind of this. He just had the com complete command over his voice, and he's a, he was a chameleon actor. So in the course of any one day, people like uh, Mr. Hopkins and Mr. Jacoby, who both worked with him extensively, would say that he'd be many, many parts, all of them wonderful. 